In this video, I show you how to add a table of contents in Google Docs. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Here is the Google Doc, which I want to go and add a table of contents to. So before we get any further, we actually need to go and make sure we got some headings inside this Google Doc. Now you may think you've got them, but you need to make sure they're actually formatted as headings. And if you're wondering what a heading does, well, it basically is gonna make up the table of contents. So just keep watching and listen. So to do that, let's start at the top. In this case, I've got uh, this example on which I want to make into a heading. So I've highlighted it. And then what you need to do is go to the top left and go and tap on format and then go down to uh, paragraph styles and then go across. And I want to make this heading one. So then go and tap on apply heading one. Now, what you now need to do is go um, and change it. If you want to edit any fonts or change the color, change the size, I'll make it a bit smaller like this. And after you've made any changes, like the font or the size, highlight it again, and then go and tap on format again, press paragraph styles, and you need to go and tap on update heading one to match, because then this is what this is going to do is save this format. And we can then go and make all the others the same. So now come down to your next heading or the next thing you want to be heading, highlight it, and then go and tap on format and go and tap on paragraph styles and heading one, and then tap on apply heading one. And then here is my third heading one I want to be. So I'll then highlight it, go and tap on format and then tap on paragraph styles and then make this uh, apply heading one once again. And then once you've done your heading ones, if you've got any subtopics like I do here, for example, this sub example one, then once again, highlight it like this, then go and tap on format and go and tap on paragraph styles and then make it heading two. And then of course you could do heading three for any others. So I'll then tap on apply heading two and I wanna make this a bit smaller like this. So there we go. Once you've now gone and had it added some headings, now we can add the table of contents. So what I like to do is have the table of contents on its own page. So then what you need to do is put your cursor right at the start of any content and then go and press on control and enter, or if you're using a Mac command and enter and click it like that. And as you can see, it then uh, puts a page break in. And now what we can do is go and click where you want uh, your table of contents to be, which is just here then go to the top left and tap on insert, and then go and tap on table of contents. And as you can see, there's a few different uh, examples we can go and use here, plain text, dotted, and links. In this case, I'm use dotted, so I'll then tap there. And just like that, it's now gone and created it. And of course, if you had more headings, this would be much longer as well. And if you then go and add any more headings or subheadings, then just right click on it and go and press update, and then it's gonna update with any more you've got and added. If you guys found this useful, then please consider leaving a like, peace.